We're Randy and Trish, and we have been exploring the silver coast of Portugal, but now we're heading inland. We're on our way to the castle town of Pinella, but I found something interesting on Google Maps, and we're going to take you with us. But first, right off of the road are these incredibly amazing grapes, ready for harvest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, look at the size of this cluster. We are at a museum. This is the um, oldest Roman ruins, I believe, for the area. It's a, an archeological site. They're not right. They're green. And they're not limes. They're not? And there's picnic tables. Okay, we're going to go uh, in and get our tickets. Now it should be uh, $8 for me and $4 for Randy because he's over 65. We'll come back and go indoors to the museum, uh, but first we're going to go outdoors to, to the, the archaeological site. Uh -huh. Olive groves everywhere. There's one that's getting darker. Okay. Most of them are still very green. It's hard to harvest olives. Although we like olives, green olives. We like all kinds of olives. Look, this one's really loaded down. Now we're going to head over to the covered bathhouse area. The mosaic on the left was recovered from the dining room of the house of County Bear. The one on the right is from unknown provenance. Roman road right there. It connected uh, Lisbon to Rockara. I guessed it. Wow. In Portugal, they've been building houses this way. They may still be building houses this way. But we have looked at several homes that it, their core is, um, or at least the basement, is built like this. And they are solid as a rock. Each room has unique, intricate mosaics. Wow, that floor is amazing. I want one. From the other side, I want one of these gardens. Yeah, this is flooded with water. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm loving those fountains. There's some black olives. This is a different variety. Well, they had spaces below and above. This is the amphitheater. I'm assuming that's some kind of underground water. And there's a water basin, probably, there. Or what they put their wine or olive oil in. Okay, so there used to be columns all around here. And here's one with some modern detail added back in to give you an idea. That's a protected area. These are surviving structures of urbanism before the Romans. So freaking old. graveyard here. Some of the detail. Looting. Now we're going into the museum. regular glass. They made it from paste. I see those are formed. Oh, you were formed. Only an artist would know that. Yeah. I took five art history classes. And how many were in play? Not many. Excellent. Lots of tools, like fishing hooks. Okay, that's pretty cool. If you have not already subscribed, please do. It is free. Randy and I travel all over the U.S. in a van that we built. And also, we're having this month-long vacation in Portugal. We give you all the hints and tricks and tips of uh, where to go and what to do. Okay, so this is what we toured earlier. What they are surmising, it looks like. 
Amazing, so much more detailed than I thought. Very nice. Wow, so you the inner here. Nice. We don't think of these as being painted and decorated because we always see them as just white. But on here, they're showing how it was once painted and very colorful. That was well worth it. And we didn't even see half of it. Plus, there are walking trails and picnic areas. I would plan to spend a day here instead of a couple of hours like we did. See you in Pinella.